Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's check out 3-6 and explosive patients. What do they mean by that? We're, we are about to find out. It's quiet. Too quiet. Random movie reference for no reason. Uh, it's just me and her. It's peaceful and cut What? What's going on? Oh, oh. Yeah, what the heck did happen? Looks like there's some like emergency power going on or something. What? It looks like, oh, uh oh. I'm not liking the sounds of this. That's for sure. What a bomb! What? Ah! Indeed! We gotta get out somewhere with the oh, door, window. No, what? what's going on? Oh god, we gotta do something. We must. Oh boy. Wait, what? what? Yeah, that is where the bomb is. Don't go over there. What we, yeah, what are you gonna... I don't, I don't plan on doing it. You have, you have to do something. Uh, what? Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> So let's see if we can do something about the bomb. This is our explosive patient. And what? Why do I have to dismantle the bomb? You're on the, you're on the police force, lady. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, come on, you know how to... Ugh. So you're gonna put a bomb dismantling, or I should say a disarming, in the hands of a surgeon and not a police officer slash anesthesiologist. So here comes the operation. <laughs> Yeah, it starts just like any other operation with this little briefing here. There is our patient. It looks uh, quite explosive, and that doesn't seem like something that we should be touching, but yeah, I, I think we should do something about that anyway. I mean, if we're trapped in here, we gotta wait for, you know, someone to save us anyway, and if they won't make it in this five minutes of time, even though it's been far more than five minutes of time, uh, they were gonna die off anyway, so, <laughs> so we best do something. And, uh, what? You dated a guy on the bomb skull, boy. This is not going to go well. I have a feeling about that. <laughs> okay, so here is the initial bomb phase. This comes in like four phases, I think, here. Alright, so basically these four screws here, you gotta take the scalpel, and these two, these ones right here, you grip with the scalpel and then turn your Wii Remote clockwise. Yeah, clockwise, not counterclockwise. These screws are cross-threaded. If you make a mistake, one of those... Hey, hey, hey. One of those lights on... These things right here will light up. And this, this counterclockwise thing here is kind of awkward. <laughs> I, hate, I hate turning my hand with the Weaver mode a certain amount of way. I, I don't know why. It just feels really awkward to me. I, I, I would be better off doing it with my fingertips, you know, like an actual screwdriver. But that would be done with... Um, with like a rounded handle, not a square, or I should say a rectangular Wii Remote. <laughs> anyway, we gotta stabilize the voltage here. It's gonna be over here in this corner here, where our big heads are in the way here. And uh, she actually remembers, you've never seen this bomb before, what are you talking about? Yeah, this is a voltage regulation device, apparently, and apparently these plugs have something to do with it. So grip a plug. Pull it away from you, and that's extremely awkward to do, and put it in front of the hole, and there we go, put it in that one, and don't worry about the sound there, just pull it out, and put it in like that, and voila, that is your combination. It's one on the left, three on the right, you know, one from the top, three from the top on the right side. And oh, there we go. It's not perfect, it but we should be able to get rid of these things. Now get your laser out and start lasering them. If you touch any red ones, you automatically lose. So be very careful about where you touch here. Uh, stay away from the red ones unless you know that they've already changed. Like, like when they change positioning, you get about a second or so or well, a couple of seconds, I should say, before they change positionings again, positions again. And also, do not laser the core in the center like I did that. 
That, yeah, that would cause a little bit of problems as well. Be very careful. Just let the panels move into your laser spotlight and, and don't move towards the lasers. That's the key to defeating this one. Oh, I'm glad I didn't laser that panel there. No! I blew up! It changed! Let's try it again. Alright, we're back to this phase, and I already got the uh, miss that I, that I did in the last one because of the dang, yeah, awkwardness. Okay, this time we're going to be a little more careful. It's a good thing I got the extra life, that green mushroom, otherwise I wouldn't be here right now. I mean, who else could blow up and live, you know, if I didn't have an extra life? I'm, ugh. So, that's a good thing I did pick that up in that question mark box. Anyway, we're just lasering panels here. Yes, you do have to get every single one of these panels. So this is excessively annoying since there's like 200 of these suckers. Yes, this could take me a little while here. And I took a really big risk there. I could have turned into a, a red panel there. Just be very careful as you go through these things. And just get the ones that aren't near any other red panels. Don't do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, I touched a red panel and it didn't blow up? What? Maybe there is like a small leeway for error, like if it changes as soon as you touch a panel or something like that. Because you've seen me touch that panel and it didn't blow up, but I swear it always blew up once I touched a red panel before this. Um, okay, we're doing good. I don't really want to touch that. Yeah. Got seven panels left that I see. There's still one flashing one on this group here, unless it's gonna go away. I think it- no, it just moved over to those. Yeah, I hate this! I hate when it- like, it might just disappear and then pop back into uh, view or something like that. Like this, right here. That could have killed me. Alright, we are done with that phase. And this is the center of the bomb, but the problem is... We now have a time limit warning here. And we can't touch any of these panels, otherwise we are going to blow up again. So be very careful and watch closely at their patterns. And wait for an opening to use your laser, like there. Like there. <laughs> Except I blew up again. Let's try it again. Alright, we're back into this phase, and yeah, I'm skipping the storyline here, but now I'm gonna go back to normal mode here. Whoa! Yeah, this is just so confusing visually. Eh. Careful. Oh, oh, oh. Got a little leeway there. I think I got a little more flexibility this time with the way the rings are than I than they were the last time. At least it feels like it. Yeah, four seconds, come on. No, nope, didn't have enough time. Curses! This is so annoying. Dang it! Okay, what kind of bomb is this anyway? I, whatever happened to cutting the freaking red wire? <laughs> okay, opportunity. Need it badly. Need to. Ooh, that was a good one. Eh. Eh. This is so annoying. Come on. Patience. Durr! I hate you so much. I'm glad I did the 99 live trick. Concentration time, baby. Here we go. Wait, I think I'm pretty close this time. Stop looping around so quickly. Ah. Ah. I need more opportunities. Yes! Woo! And that's how you dismantle a bomb. <laughs> Don't try that one at home, kids, because there's no such thing as a bomb like that. Cut the red wire. No, just kidding. <laughs> I was at that for like 15 minutes or so. <laughs> but okay, that is over and that makes me extremely happy. That's probably one of the more annoying operations in the game. It's, it's not that it's hard. It's just a thing of, you miss once on that last confusing section, and kablooey! Yeah. <laughs> you get the idea, so that isn't going to be something that I'm happy to ever repeat in the future when I replay this game, even after this walkthrough's done. But still, it's a part of the game, I guess. you got to get past it, and I just did. Now, since I know I'm going to be cutting a lot of stuff off of that, I'm going to do a little more on here. I'm... 
Actually, maybe I took longer than I thought. The camera says it's at 20 minutes and 53 seconds. Hmm. <laughs> that wasn't for the operation time. You know, there was the whole storyline sequence thingy as well. So I guess that wasn't that long. Not as long as a uh, Super Mario Brothers Lost Levels level. So I guess that the uh, death compilation isn't nearly as high in this one as the uh, Lost Levels walkthrough has been lately. Uh, I'm, I'm, the reason why I haven't put up a Lost Level in a few days is because I'm kind of uh, thinking about how I'm supposed to edit this part. See, I'm doing World 8. And I decided I was just so burned out on World 8, I played for about an hour, hour and five minutes or so, I think, somewhere around there. And what happened was, I was so burned out by the last castle that I got frustrated and decided to just quit the part. So I don't know if I want to put the death compilation in that part, if I should do it in the next part, or if I should just cut it out altogether because I was just plain burned out, as I said, so the commentary just wasn't there. I might just like count the deaths or something like that in the footage and add them into a little title card or something like that, whatever you want to call them, a little image I'll insert into the video saying that. Anyway, next one! Caduceus on a plane. Here we go. It's quiet once again. Hopefully there's not another time bomb because that would be really sucky. Oh, we're flying! Look at me, I've got wings as a little avatar pawn looking thing, and hey, hello, we are in the back of an airplane now, I see. Yeah, I guess it is kind of far away, that's it. Wow, that is a lot of travel time. <laughs> I think I'd be extremely bored. I would burn out my Nintendo DS by the time we got to the destination. I would burn out both my Nintendo DS's by the time I got to the destination. And I would have nothing to do. I would have to be forced to pay for an in-flight movie. Well, for those headphones. Unless I brought them with me. Unless maybe you can't use your own headphones for the movie or something like that. I don't know. I've never been on a plane. But dang it. If they would make you use their headphones, that would be scandalous. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh there seems to be problems going on here. Uh-oh, this has to be drained out and we've got to do it on a plane. And there's going to be a little bit of problems going on this plane here. Not that the plane is going down, but because we are going to encounter some turbulence. <laughs> that will not be pretty. Basically, turbulence is just like uh, when a character goes into cardiac arrest and you have to get the defibrillator out. You can't do anything while you're in turbulence, basically. Uh, and, and this is Starting the basically just like getting out hemorrhages. You know, you cut, drain, and pull it out. But the thing is, is that with the turbulence in your way, the hemorrhages can burst and that can cause your patient to die and that can make you lose the operation. But that's a part of the game. And what did I, what did I do that for? I completely forgot to sterilize. It's like it's like when I forgot to use the gel before putting on the bandage on that one operation. Okay, let's ping around here. Mm -hmm. Deal, there we go. Cuts, and there's a lot of water there. It looks more like some sort of fog there. And you know, uh oh, turbulence, turbulence. Oh, I need boopers. Whenever you see that little that little pre warm up turbulence before it actually gets to the um, high impact turbulence there that can actually do damage to the patient as well as give you misses. Where? What? Come on now, man. I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. See, I can do stuff before the big turbulence comes, but I can't... Whoops! I didn't mean to do that, seriously! Uh, but yeah, you can't do anything until... Oh, there we go. How the heck did I miss that? I don't know. Okay, that's... Hel what? Hello, that gel didn't work at all. Thank you. That was so weird. Okay, you know what? I should just raise the vitals here before I have to drain some more uh, fluid sacks. There we go. Suck, suck. Gel, there we go. Did I see a, a dot here? Or was that just me? I don't know. There was a dot here. Was that a glitch or something? I don't know. I don't think I was supposed to see that with my normal ping. Okay, so let's get the vitals up and wait for it. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, turbulence, unless it's like really, really, really bad turbulence, 
isn't really anything bad for an airplane. It's just like a bumpy ride. But the simple fact that air currents aren't, uh, you know, they aren't smooth. They, they're they like a bumpy road to an airplane, so that's why you feel uh, turbulence like that on a plane. Don't ask me why I know that, I just know that. <laughs> so we're just basically doing the same thing here until all the uh, drainage is drained out. And almost done. Half complete? What? What is this blasphemy? I wonder if these things appear in the same position. I don't think they do. Most operations are kind of random in that way. So, yeah. Hmm. Find that. There we go. Sucky suck. And there we go. Heal, heal, heal. Yeah. Uh, turbulence is annoying, but it doesn't really do that much, unless you kind of like bungle by hitting the A button accidentally, <laughs> or you know, you completely forgot to sterilize the cutting area before you cut into it, <clears throat> that's another one of those dummy bungles that happen just when you're doing commentary, <laughs> whenever you do commentary, your attention is divided because you're either focusing on the commentary or the gameplay, it's hard to do both at the same time perfectly. And, okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yada yada. <laughs> what? Where the heck? Okay, this is getting silly now. And you'll notice that those fluid sacs, whatever the heck they are, they don't really do any damage to the patient while they're in the patient. So, you don't have to really worry about them, uh, like, doing damage randomly as you're trying to look for it. It's really the turbulence is that the thing that's going to get you in this operation unless you're uh, not really all that careful. Like, see, because I wouldn't have gotten any misses on this one besides that opening up procedure, you know, the initial cut, blah, 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 if I had not accidentally hit the A button. You get the idea. And that's it. And I believe the turbulence will also end here. If I'm not mistaken, it has like a little humorous effect here. Maybe I should have said that ahead of time. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, they're applauding. Oh, that's nice of them. Well, maybe, maybe the turbulence didn't then. Hmm. What's my rank? Probably something bad. Yeah, because I got those misses. But whatever. Yeah, he'll be just fine. I'm a doctor and I'm pro at that as well. But at least I passed the time on the plane. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part where we go to the deserted village. Toodaloo!